Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today, we are talking about a brand new color grading tool from Color Grading Central called Cinema Grade. This is something that I've been wanting to try out for a long time, and they were nice enough to send me over a copy to try out. So I thought I'd do a little demo for you guys because I know that if you're into color grading, you definitely want to check this out, okay? So let's jump right in. I'm here in Premiere Pro CC. If I go to my effects panel, I'm going to grab Cinema Grade, which I've already installed on this system, and I'm just going to drop it on this clip. Now check this out. I'm going to open up the controls, and it pops up with this window here. This, they're pretty much marketing as a new technique for color grading. It's like a completely reworked interface tool set for adjusting images. And it's all based on doing things right here on the image. Up here we have some buttons and you can select different tools that will help you adjust color or you can also use keyboard shortcuts which is what I like to do and just check this out. I'm looking at this image and I wanna do a basic correction, let's say. First thing I'll notice is that it probably needs a little more contrast. So I'm gonna hit C and I can just click and drag and that's going to adjust contrast for my image. Also needs a little bit of saturation. I'm gonna hit S, do the same thing, just drag up a little bit. Maybe I feel like this is too cool, I wanna warm it up. I'll hit W for white balance, just drag up to make it a little bit warmer. And there's a pretty nice looking grade off the bat, but there's also some fancier controls. If I hit Shift C, that adjusts the pivot of the contrast. So it's not adding or taking away contrast, it's just adjusting where that midpoint is. And so you can really kind of dial things in pretty easily. If I hit E, that adjusts exposure, so the overall exposure of the image. But if I hit Shift E, I can adjust the highlights, midtones, and shadows. And how you do that is you pick the parts of the image that you actually want to adjust. So right here on the wrist, that's a highlight. And so I can click once, and that gives me a little marker here. And I can drag up and down to just adjust the tones of the image that are around that range. Same thing for shadows. I'll make a little point here in the shadows and I can adjust the level of the shadows. This is a really nice, like natural way to work with your image and I love it. They also have a similar thing for saturation. You can do something like pick the shadows of the image, desaturate the shadows, and it splits up saturation between highlights, midtones, and shadows. But here's what's really cool. If you hit V, that brings up your vector controls, which is just kind of like fancy talk for being able to eyedropper a part of the image and adjust it individually. This works in a similar way to the hue curves inside of Resolve. So let's say I want to adjust these plants back here. All I have to do is click on the plants and I can drag up and down to adjust the hue. If I hold down shift, that adjusts the saturation and command adjusts the luminance. And so again, that's a really nice, fast way to adjust a specific part of the image without moving around a selection. And so you can really quickly get some pretty advanced stuff happening just by working directly on the image. It's really cool, really cool. And when you're all done, just hit apply and you can close the window and it applies it to the clip. So pretty awesome, but here's what's really awesome because color grading isn't just about adjusting one shot, it's about adjusting a bunch of shots in a sequence. So if I select all of these and put that effect on them, and then I go back to my effect controls and open the controls, I can actually move in between all the shots in my timeline that have that effect applied just by hitting up and down. Check this out. I can actually move to different shots really quickly just using my keyboard. And I can adjust each shot just like that. So C for contrast, Shift C for the contrast pivot. Yeah, let's bring it down something like that. That looks pretty good. Maybe I wanna adjust these shadows. I'll hit Shift E, pick the shadows, maybe move that up a little bit. I'll pick the highlights, move that down just a little. Hit S for saturation. And maybe I'll pump that up a little. Hit W for white balance and maybe just warm it up. But let's say I want to make this sky pop a little bit. I'll hit V, grab my sky, hold shift, and I can push that up and kind of have 
and kind of have more of a blue sky. I can even adjust the hue a little bit. I'll push it more towards kind of greenish. Maybe I don't like the color of these flowers. Maybe I'll make that a little bit more brown, saturated a little more to kind of a yellow. And there I have a really nice advanced look just by kind of clicking around and, and like literally picking the parts of the image that I like or don't like and trying to enhance them. If I go into shot matching up here, that will bring up all of my shots and I can compare them and I can copy grades and everything in between them. So let's say I like this shot and I want to match this other windmill shot. I can select them both. They're in the yellow group right now. You can have multiple groups and I'll hit match shots. And this brings them up side by side I can even bring up scopes for everything. I'll just pin that. And I can make adjustments here on this right image and try and match it to the left image. So let's put some saturation in there. Maybe add some contrast. I'll hit W, warm this up a little. It's definitely looking a little better. Hit Shift C. Now I'll adjust the contrast pivot. Hit Shift E. I can grab these highlights, and bring that down a little bit. Maybe I'll grab the midtones, bring that up a little. Go back to white balance, warm it up a little bit. And now we're getting definitely in the ballpark of a match. And we can tell that by comparing our scopes. Waveforms look very similar although there is a little bit more brightness here because of that flare. And the really cool thing is they have this overlaid vector scope that compares the vector scopes of the two shots together. And wherever they overlap is yellow. So you can pretty quickly compare these shots and get a match, which of course is one of the hardest parts of color grading. Maybe I think this sky is too dark. I'll hit V, pick the sky and just hold command and just brighten it up a little bit. And there we go. Now that I have my shots matched, I can actually go over to final grading. I can add a LUT. And when I'm all done with my color, I can just close the window and I see my shots graded here in my timeline. Pretty freaking awesome. This is something I know I'm gonna be using a lot inside of Premiere. And when you buy it, it also comes with a version for Final Cut Pro 10 as well as a light version for Resolve, which has the main grading interface where you can do all of the on-screen adjustments. It just doesn't have the shot matching and, and grouping stuff because Resolve already has that and kind of takes care of that for you. So yeah, anyway, there's a pretty quick look at Cinema Grade. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more color grading and post-production tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.